Hello, everyone. This is Felicia Bender, the Practical Numerologist. We're coming at you end of year, right? It is December's forecast. So um, I am just going to say up front that this is based on your personal year number in numerology. It's not based on your life path number. So if you're new to numerology, or if you're just not sure what your personal year might be, I ask you to please take a, a quick moment, go over to feliciabender.com, click on monthly forecast. There is a calculator there that will calculate your personal year number for you. And then you can make sure that you are listening to the correct forecast. Uh, there's also a very quick, very easy manual calculation below in the description box. If you'd like to just take a look at that, do it manually. So uh, otherwise, we are moving into December, and this is your forecast for the month of December 2023. If you're in a six personal year, December is a number nine personal month for you. So it's going to be, uh, you're going to be ending this year more in a release mode, right? So before we get into that, though, what I would ask you uh, for as kind of a year end reflection. So take the time to acknowledge really how everything that you have experienced in your sixth personal year has recalibrated potentially, hopefully, <laughs> your relationship life on every level, uh, primarily your relationship with the most important person in your life, which is you or who is you? Uh, who is you? That's a very interesting uh, alliteration there. Anyway, it's proper though. Who is you? <laughs> so, uh, sorry, I went down the rabbit hole there. Uh, so this year really has brought that up into play and into place. The sixth year is that home, family, duty, service, responsibilities, all of the things around love and relationships. It's brought a bunch of home and family issues to the forefront. It's also invited you to step back from feeling responsible for everyone and everything, if that's your tendency, uh, and instead focus on giving yourself the self-care and the nurturing that you want and need in order to come to the table with healthy boundaries and uh, in a co-creative um, relationship with people, right? Um, particularly those in your family and in your intimate circle. So I trust that you feel this strong sense of accomplishment and serenity in the domestic realm and within your relationship life. That's the goal, right? There can be warbles there. <laughs> we could talk about some of those. And yet, hopefully, at this point in the year, that is where you are. So it's been a duty-filled year, uh, with special emphasis on the family and close relationship front. It's also been a year, again, where those relationships are under review. So I hope that you have survived relatively unscathed, so to speak. And if not, know, know that those shifts are all for the better, uh, despite the discomfort maybe uh, that it invokes at the time. I will always say some people don't like this, and yet I will say it anyway. The, the sixth personal year, the six itself in numerology is the marriage and divorce number, uh, the marriage. So it's basically the relationship number, the healthy relationship number, right? So it's uh, about, is this working? If it's not working, how can we, how can we work with it? And how can we bring it to this next level of love, of functionality, of health, uh, or is it time to release it, right? So uh, the marriage and the divorce, either way. So December, though, is a nine month for you. And it brings a beautiful moment of respite, potentially, uh, where you are wrapping up those decisions, the choices, uh, the happenings of the year and are attempting to place them perhaps in a bit of a larger context. So it's going to be upward and on, uh, uh, upward and onward soon, right? And yet this is a month to clear, clear things out to clear a few things out. And if it's really isn't enough, you know, in the final throws <laughs> of it, tack that nine energy uh, to December. And it really is a round them up and move them out time. The nine is the energy of letting go, completions, surrender, and forgiveness. 
So you might consider slowing down a bit this month, reviewing how the year started and now how it's concluding. Uh, what have you chosen um, in your life to, to nurture, right? And what have you decided to allow to dissolve, to fall away, or that you've made a concerted effort to leave behind in terms of your relationships themselves, in terms of your relationship patterns, your patterns of relating. Um, as you leave your sixth personal year and enter into your seventh personal year in 2024, uh, take some time to really consider what was the locus of your home and family related year. What did you focus on? What were your overarching intentions? I would ask if you found yourself feeling the desire to expand your emotional connections with people. Uh, did you experience some nice, warm, fuzzy moments with family, with friends, with other important people in your life where you feel you really got closer uh, within your relationships? Perhaps you struggled with feeling as though you were giving too much and not leaving enough on the plate to nurture yourself. Um, or maybe you even blazed through with blinders on and didn't really deal with the relationships in your life uh, in a way that opened you to authentic exchanges and forging those deeper bonds uh, with the people you choose to keep in your life. So if that's the case, I will just tell you, <laughs> The upcoming seven personal year will have something to say about that. That'll be something that you get to work with. Um, but overall, the six is really a lovely time for uh, for your relationship life to grow and strengthen. It's also a time where you could very well have been doing uh, extraordinarily good things and expansive things with your business. It's a very magnetic time for business as well. Yet in December, ready yourself for some conclusions, for some re-situations in your life that might show up maybe a little bit as a surprise, right? The nine always ushers in circumstances where there are some outdated aspects of your life that fall away, right? In, in a strange way, it's kind of like a scab. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to hang out there forever. It needs to slough off, right? So whether that's a relationship dynamic, a job, maybe it's any, any other thing really that you have in hover mode. So the energy of the nine really demands um, things to, to, come to, uh, to come to a close. This upcoming year is a time for focusing on yourself in the deepest and most profound way. Uh, the upcoming year is a seven personal year for you, and it it uh, it is going to be more of a spiritual growth year. This year, your sixth year, required that you extend yourself outward to others and that you perhaps place your personal needs and and wants maybe second or maybe third or maybe fourth in some ways. So it's, again, it's, it's stepping into caretaking roles. Now, uh, starting in January, you get a hall pass to move inward and investigate the unspoken and the mystical elements of life that are beginning to get your attention. So perhaps you're feeling uh, a need to learn something new that will assist you in maybe elevating your job position or taking you uh, into another career altogether. That's a potential. Maybe it's time to, uh, in your relationship world, seek counsel counseling or therapy as you begin to question some of the ways that your choices are showing up in your life. Maybe a relationship is rocky. Uh, maybe a certain health uh, aspects need a tune-up, right? Or maybe there's a, just a unique circumstance that will demand your attention in the coming year that will make you dive deep, right? Go on a, uh, a spiritual excavation uh, adventure, so to speak. There will be some deep-seated issues coming into play, and you'll want the time and the solitude to process them and accordingly. You're probably already feeling that energy coming in. It feels much lower energy, uh, like a little bit like you want to hibernate. 
So the trick of it is that you won't really know exactly what's going on and you won't have clarity around the issue this month in December, uh, because this is only going to be a jumping off place for some deeper unfolding. So this upcoming year is a, a vital pause and a, a very much in some ways a resting time meant for, for some deep internal work. Uh, so get ready for a planning, knowledge gathering, and soul searching year ahead. That is, your, uh, that is your forecast for the end of the year. And what I also want to mention is that I am re regrouping, reprioritizing, doing some things differently within my numerology business. And I am uh, this is going to be the last forecast that I'm going to be doing on YouTube. I will not uh, be doing these monthlies anymore. I might be doing some other segments, some other series, some other things on YouTube. I'm kind of in the planning stage of that. And yet um, I've just had to prioritize certain things. So I would, uh, I would say that if you still want to engage in your forecast, you can still go to FeliciaBender.com and you can read it there. It will still be there in writing. It just won't be on YouTube. So uh, again, I hope that you have a wonderful end of your year and thank you for watching here. And, uh, and I hope that, that you'll come back and we'll, we'll get some other numerology based videos going for you. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful uh, holiday and a very, very, very happy new year.